Pete looked like a real badass. Much respect. So here we are in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. This is my first time here. I've seen it on many of vlogs, but this is my first time actually stepping foot in the cemetery. I don't have a map or anything like that, but I'm gonna try to scope out some celebrity graves, but either way, I know there's a lot of Hollywood energy here. And then of course the regular energy that you have at any other cemetery, a lot of people laid to rest here. A lot of peacocks over here too. This is something I've never seen on any of the vlogs, so I'm gonna catch the peacocks. Let's go take a look at the babies. Look at the babies. I've watched probably, I don't know, 50 plus vlogs taking place in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I've never seen these babies talked about. Look at them, they got a whole roost. Do not feed the peacocks. Hello children. How are you doing today? Are you stinky? Are you weird? That's okay. Oh, you're so strange. You're so unusual. Are you the girls? Are you the boys? Oh, it's a boys club and a girls club. Oh my goodness. Funny business. I'm talking about you, Harold. I'm talking about you. This is one of the most depressing graves I've ever seen in my life. I get it, I mean, we're weeping for someone, but my goodness. It's very 1920s. 1864 to 1928. The wife died in 1968. Boy, that is depressing. But hey, we're talking about him. Blanchard, all right. Very sad. Very meta. Wow. Look at these. Very spooky. Don't know if anyone's in there. Looks like it, yeah. For quite a while. Cummings. Ooh, someone's partying. With all due respect, these are very, very spooky. Very spooky, but uh, I get it. People want to be with their family and their final resting place. I respect it. Man, this is a huge cemetery, guys. All right, guys, so here I am at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I've seen many of vlogs on this location, and I never thought I'd really come here, but uh, here I am at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles. We're trying to find Burt Reynolds' grave right now. Uh, I talked to one of the gentlemen that works here, he's one of the groundskeepers, and he didn't know. So, pictures online I saw showed it around this little lake over here. So we're going to see if we can find the grave of the late, great Burt Reynolds. Let's see what we can find. Johnny Ramon. Please come back. Love Vincent Gallo. As good a friend as there ever was, John Fruscante, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You're my partner, you're the coolest, I love you so much forever and always. Love, Linda Ramon. Forever here today, never gone tomorrow, my eternal friend, I love you, Lisa Marie Presley. All the friends had to be famous to make it onto the grave. That was a stipulation. He was a great American and the greatest friend. I love you, John, Eddie Vedder. A dedicated punk and a loyal friend. Thanks for everything. I miss you, Johnny. Rob Zombie. Johnny Ramon. Born John Cummings. Legendary guitarist for the Ramones. Born October 8th, 1948. Died September 15th, 2004. If a man can tell if he's been successful in his life by having great friends, then I have been very successful. Johnny Ramon. A real legend. Rock and roll icon laid to rest right here, guys. Jimmy 
Is this Ducky? Holy crap. All right, and I'm standing at the grave of the late, great, magnificent Burt Reynolds. February 11th, 1936 to September 6, 2018. There he is. Absolute icon. Burt Reynolds, I'm a big fan personally. Deliverance, one of his best performances. Also, The Man Who Loved Women, a very underrated performance from Burt. Beautiful bust they added of him with his Smokey and the Bandit cowboy hat, with his stash. Got some prime late 70s, early 80s Burt right there. Wonderful. Where it was an absolute icon, total ladies man, a very, very talented actor. He always loved the arts, gave back to his community, seemed like a really genuine dude. I was actually in the process of reading his biography while he was still alive, and he passed away while I was reading his biography. Amazing guy, from what I could tell. And a super, super popular actor. Big part of American culture here. What a guy. And then if you want to find his grave, Right here by the lake of Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Can't miss it, it's got the Smokey and the Bandit bust right here. Oh, a lot of fat squirrels running around. Or is he a chipmunk? It's hard to tell. I think he's a squirrel. Hello, baby. Oh, up to no good. They're kind of all over the place. Little grave robbers. You're a little grave robber, that's what you are. Yes, I'm talking about you, monkey. You're a little grave robber, baby. You're a grave robber. I'm talking about you. Yes, I'm talking about you. Here's a look inside the cathedral that's closed currently. The real deal. Look, it's the grave of Mickey Rooney, September 23rd, 1920 to April 6, 2014. One of the greatest entertainers the world has ever known. Hollywood will always be his home. Mickey Rooney, everybody. Farewell, sir. Oh my goodness, look what we have here. This monument is dedicated to the memory of the beloved Toto from the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz. After the death of Toto, originally named Terry in 1945, owner and trainer Carl Spitz buried the Karen Terrier on his ranch in Studio City. The 1958 construction of the Ventura Freeway destroyed her resting place. I am so sorry, baby. In memory of Toto. What an angel. We give you this new home 53 years later as there's no place like home. Rest in peace, dear friend. Well, I gotta leave a little, little offering. I'm gonna go back and give one to Bert, too. There you go, that's a uh, 1985 quarter, a good year. Back to the Future came out that year. The Toto Memorial Committee, J.P. Myers, Steve Goldstein, Fix Nation, June 18th, 2011. Look at the baby. Love The Wizard of Oz, classic, iconic film. Love Toto. Here's the grave of Anton Yelchin. March 11th, 1989 to forever. I hear his parents visit on almost a daily basis. This guy was lost way too soon. He died in a very, very tragic accident involving a car rolling and pinning him to his garage and sadly killing him. Gone Too Soon, a very talented young actor. This guy did some great things in his time and I think he would have continued to go on to do many great things. You would know him from Star Trek. I'm sure a bunch of other things, but that's what I know him from. Talented young actor. Farewell, Anton. We are deep in the bowels of the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I really never thought I'd be here. I mean, in the back of my mind, I always wanted to be here. Alive, of course. 
but uh, I've seen many vlogs on this spot. I've never been here, so this is a first for me. I've seen the Grim Life Collective come here many and many a times. If you haven't seen their channel, definitely check them out. Super nice people. This is all just waiting for new people to come here. I can hear a eulogy happening right now. Wow, look at this. Fresh spots just waiting for new peeps. Look at that, guys. Oh, here we go. Now, I'm trying to find the final resting place of Marilyn Monroe and Hugh Hefner. But I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see them tonight. We only have about 20 minutes left until this place closes. But I'm going to do my best to see if I can locate them. Look at all these new spots here, guys. My goodness. Just waiting for newcomers to join the forever resting space. It's always very sad when you see this here, but also sweet. What's interesting here at this uh, cemetery is there's a lot of production vehicles here. A lot of like grip trucks and probably actor transportation. Paramount on location, see that? Only in Hollywood, guys. Quite a few vehicles though, check it out. Kinda cool. Looks like a meditation session going on over here. Kind of a unique place to do it, but very peaceful, I guess, right? Beautiful cemetery. Definitely an energy here that's very palpable. And this looks like something from Six Flags from the Batman ride. Like something from Gotham that the Joker would fall into. A vat of chemicals. But seriously, this is a very special cemetery. There's something about it. Maybe it's just me and my Hollywood nostalgia, but uh, it has a different feeling than a lot of cemeteries. It's very interesting. Even in Arizona, here's something you don't see a lot of times in a grassy cemetery. Cacti. But here we have some cacti in California. Along with the typical palm trees, which are beautiful. This looks a lot like the warehouse from Halloween 3 that they break into. It's like some kind of metal working, I don't know, iron workers facility. Kind of interesting. Very appropriate being adjacent to a cemetery. Definitely looks like something from a Halloween themed movie. That's a very interesting pyramid over there. I know Nick Cage purchased one like that for himself for the day he finally passes away. Let's hope that's not anytime soon because we love Nick Cage. But I do know he did invest in a pyramid grave for himself. One thing about the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, it's massive. Like I said, I've watched quite a few vlogs on this place and I never really fully appreciated the scope of it. This place is huge. A lot of celebrities buried here, but I'm impressed we saw as many as we did. Burt Reynolds, uh, Johnny Ramone, who else did we see, Mickey Rooney. That alone is impressive to me. <laughs> like some of these folks here, uh, Anton Yelchin, like, some of these folks here are really hard to find. I've been looking around. Turns out Maryland is not buried at this ho or this hotel. Gosh. Hotel for the dead. This cemetery. But uh, quite a few other people are. Like Cecil B. DeMille. Um, who else? Rudolph Valentino. But I was not able to find them. But I'm still going to keep trekking. See if I can find anyone else that I recognize. Obviously, there are thousands of graves here. But uh, just happy to be here. It's cool, it's a very interesting location and a, frankly a beautiful historical cemetery. Talk about a Hollywood Forever Cemetery. If you look right here and look up, there's the water tower for the Paramount lot. That is pretty darn Hollywood right there. Alright, so as the sun is setting, I was just told by one of the groundskeepers that they are closing. So I'm getting kicked out, 
But I asked him, I said, hey, can I hitch a ride with you? He said, no, we can't do that. And so, <laughs> walking through the cemetery alone, I'm hoofing it. But I like it that way, it's interesting. Makes for a good vlog. And I'll tell you, I don't know the next time I'm gonna be here. So, I'm gonna take my time and take the long way. Like I said, a very beautiful cemetery. Crowded, a lot of people here, just like the city. Makes sense. This looks like something from Jurassic Park. Wow, look at that, a mausoleum with a window. Gotta pay extra for that. Oh man, I wonder if it's open, I doubt it. I doubt it highly. Ah, man. <gasps> no way, dude. No way. No way. I'm shocked. I really don't want to get locked in here. This is a great ad for Tesla right here. Tesla. So quiet you won't wake the dead. Boy, look at that. Gotta go up here and check it out. Come on. Come on now. Boy, this place is just so expansive. Oh my gosh, guys. We, ha we have to. We have to. We absolutely have to take a peek in here. Like I said, I don't know if I'll be coming back here anytime soon. So, if they gotta kick me out, that's totally fine. Let's go in here. Wow, guys, look at this. Will you take a look at this? Oh my goodness. Legendary. Now, I could be wrong, but I think Rudolph Valentino is buried in one of these catacombs. Somewhere around here, Rudy is laid to rest. And I know because I've seen on some vlogs, there are kisses all over his grave. And you can see the lipstick marks from probably mostly older ladies and some macabre younger ladies. I feel like I'm getting away with something, guys. Totally alone in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I'm gonna try my best not to get locked in, but uh, whatever happens, happens, right? Guys, check this. Hello, is anyone here with us tonight? Yes. Did you hear that? Oh, look at these shelves, my goodness. Waiting for new people to join. Gosh, so cool. The purple lighting is very neat. Really sets the tone. Ooh. Gosh, if only we had more time in here, guys. here but let's take one more loop through here while we're here how often do you come to Hollywood Forever Cemetery right how often do you come to Hollywood Forever Cemetery check it out someone was just here recently I lit some candles Edwin Mendez Hello. Hello, hello. I look in there. I don't know if I can get in here. No, the gate doesn't open. Oh, it does. Oh, wow. 
Here we are, deep inside the catacombs, guys. Wow, look at that. Guys, this place is huge. All right, we gotta come back here with Emmett. Next California trip, mark my words, weather permitting, God willing, we'll be back to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Like I said, the groundskeeper was like, you gotta get out of here, but man, there's just so much to see. So many graves, thousands and thousands. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna head out, but boy, this place is beautiful. Spooky and beautiful simultaneously. Gosh, glad we got to see that. How often do you get to roam around the Hollywood Forever Cemetery at sunset, right? Elevator here. Oh, gosh, second story. My goodness, look at this place. Dude, this place is just endless. And look, everything's just unlocked. Everything is just unlocked. Looks like we're in the columbarium. This is amazing, guys. This is quite the columbarium. Absolutely beautiful. Gosh, look at this, guys. Look how huge this place is. It just keeps going. There's the second level up there. What do we have here? All right, these are locked up. All right, I should probably go. I don't really want to get locked in, although that would make for a very cool video. But man, look at this place. Everything's just open. Gosh, it's incredible. All right, let's get out of here. Dude, I'm so glad I hopped in here. It's so cool. Talk about a spooky event for October, right? All closed up. Dude, next time we're doing a deep dive. But this kind of just gives you a little, a little glimpse into the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Man, this place is huge. It looks like they're still constructing part of it up top there. I don't know if you can tell. Still under, under construction. All right, oh, here's the hearse. We always gotta document the hearse. Oh, in the Buddhist section, you don't see that very often. Beautiful. Look at that. It's like a Lego village. Oh, look at the spider. Check him out. Arachne cuculcinium. This is a fancy hearse. What is this, a Nautilus Lincoln? Lincoln hearse, wow. Hollywood forever hearse. I bet some celebrities have taken their last ride in this right here. Sweet ride. All right, let's go. All right guys, it's now time for us to leave the Hollywood forever cemetery. It was an amazing adventure. I'm really glad we checked it out. Saw some famous graves, saw some beautiful landscape. I'm just glad we checked it out. Remain unfazed guys, thanks for watching. Take care.